talk live with Rodney Grimes. People to people, power to power, positive thinking people. Yes, with Sir Rod and Lady Z. It's not about you, it's not about me, it's about we. And God we trust. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's People to People with Rodney Grimes. Today's topic is who's driving your vehicle in your mind and life. Also remember that it's uh it's still uh mental awareness month. Um so my topics today is gonna be kinda like it's gonna be all over the place a little bit because it had a lot of what's going on with us. It has a lot to do with uh, um, where we are mentally. And uh, uh, one of the reasons uh, um, I'm, 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 I picked a topic about who's driving your vehicle, I'm talking about your life, who's making decisions in your life, who's affecting your life, what are you doing to, to, to better your life, how are you dealing with stress? How are you dealing with relationships? How are you dealing with finances? The whole, just the whole uh, uh, spectrum of, you know, your life itself. Um, I, 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 I got this information, well, the topic came from uh, uh, a Bible study that I was having um, Sunday. Um, a gentleman um, uh, talked about this while we was in discussion. And he gave me this, this, this little diagram of just how things is, and you know about, um, you know where are you in your life, and and how are you, you know dealing with things, and so um, the way he broke it down to me, he was like, you know, you driving, right? You driving, but you got everybody around you telling you which way to turn, what they. They, they, they moving your turn signals. They telling you to watch out for this or look out for that. And, 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 in, and in your situation, you are not focused on where you're going or what you got to do, and you get distracted. And when we're talking about mental awareness, um, these are some of the areas where people have these, these struggles because they're not driving, uh, they're not in control of the vehicle. Which is themselves, I, and and I'm you know I don't even want to I got to loosen up because um, I was I took a break last week, um, last Wednesday we took a break Friday, um, it it was it, 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 it I had to see who was driving my my vehicle, was it me, was it my wife, was it my sister, my brother, my my my, my children, was it my job, was it associates. You know, was it some people that I call friends? I had to figure out who was driving my vehicle. And um, I was having these areas where I realized that in my vehicle, I was running out of fuel. I was running out of fuel trying to stay on a highway with other people. If you understand where I'm going. I was running out of fuel trying to go the route that somebody else was telling me to go. I was running out of fuel because I had so many people in my car that in in, in my in my vehicle of life 
that they were wearing me down. And uh, I started to think and wonder who's really driving my vehicle in my brain? Who's focusing on, on what I really need to be doing to, to get myself together? So um, during my, my, my journey of trying to evaluate myself, I start thinking about people to people. I start thinking about people that I network with, people I grew up with, people who are affiliated with me in my everyday life. I was thinking about my children, my wife, my mother, my sister, my brother, my cousins. I was thinking about everybody, um, people on my job. I just started looking at and and when I start to really um, evaluate my situation, I wasn't even driving. <laughs> I wasn't even driving. Everybody else was driving my vehicle. I was in the driver's seat, but I wasn't controlling the steering wheel. I wasn't saying when I was going to turn left or right. I was turning left on the actions of other people. I turned right trying to avoid some people. I look in the rear view mirror, the rear view mirror, trying to see who's still behind me. And many times I was missing what was going on in front of me. Mental awareness is something that we all have to pay close attention to. It's Mental Awareness Month. And we got to be very, very conscious of, you know, where we are and how we're going about things. I'm, I'm going to give you the telephone number. If you want to call in and join in the conversation, please feel free. It's 703 752 6120. It's uh, 703-752-6120. So if you are watching and you want to call in and, and join in the conversation, please feel free. Uh, I, I, I just want people to understand something. The purpose for each one of us is to drive our own vehicles. Now, what is People to People? People to People is that, that, that podcast is trying to drive a vehicle to help people get recognition, for us to talk about things that's going to help empower it. Your, your, your well-being, your wellness, and, and things of that nature. So right now I have to concentrate on the, the, the mental awareness because it's Mental Awareness Month, and I wanted to make sure that I pay close attention to that because there's so many of us don't understand that we have issues that need to be addressed. I'm talking it doesn't matter way how rich you are, how poor you are. We all have some 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 mental situations we have to address, and it causes us to do certain things with other people. I, I think that is is really really uh, important for us to understand because when we're trying to move forward and trying to do things and trying to reach our goal, we got other people that's um, trying to drive the vehicle from the from the passenger seat. We got people trying to drive the vehicle from the back of the to from the back of the seat. I'm talking wives, husbands, I'm talking friends, mothers, fathers, children. I, I, I want you to work with me today. I want you to think about where you are and are you really driving your vehicle? And are you driving it to the point where you're going to succeed and find success in the direction and where you're going? There's many of us out there that are having issues. And we want to blame other people. Sometimes you can look to see who you're going to blame. Just tell them to take the, the hand off the steering wheel in your life. Sometimes you got to ask them to do that. And sometimes you have to make them do it. Where am I today? Let me tell you. Today, I, I, I did a lot of praying. I, I'm, 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 I'm leaning on God right now. I'm leaning on him. I'm leaning on him. I want God to be in my driver's seat with me. You know the story about the footsteps when you when you when 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 the the person was going through all these struggles and 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 they walked across the the the, the, the sandy beach and and it started out the the person saw four footsteps, four 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 footprints, and as they were moving and going going on. It started getting really, really complicated and it started getting really rough. Things were starting to happen in that person's life. 
they didn't understand what was going on. Why was everything getting pulled away from them? Why were so many people mad at them? Why were so many things going wrong financially? Why were they having issues dealing with their mates and their loved ones? And then as they got closer to the edge of the, the, the beach and they looked and they looked back at the footprints and they saw it was only what? One set? They looked at God and said, God, I thought you I thought you had me. And realized when God said, I did. During all the time that you were doing that struggle, going through your struggles, I was carrying you. God then took over the stern wheel in the person's life. What I'm trying to get people to understand, and even myself, today I'm probably talking, if I had the mirror in front of me, I'm also talking to Rodney Grimes. I'm trying to uh, get to a point where I can hold on to my sanity and hold on to my love for myself and not worry about who's helping driving my vehicle. Because I have, I have, I have certain goals that I want to reach. And I question myself many times when I take the wrong turn. When I take the wrong turn based on somebody else's actions. Something took place over the weekend that hurt my feelings really bad. It did. And I was so determined that, you know what, I was just going to shut it down, cut it off, you know, and, 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 and not get back driving my vehicle. I was going to just park my vehicle in my brain and just say, it's not about nobody. I'm not trying to help nobody. I'm going to keep moving. The more and more I, I sat back and I thought about it and I prayed over it, I realized that, no, I'm not going to let people take over my vehicle of life. I'm going to be the one that's going to control my destination. I'm going to be the one that's going to make sure that I continue to move forth and be a blessing first to myself. And by doing that, I'm working on my inner spirit, my inner spirit with God and with my mental, my mental status, where I am. I cannot let other people dictate when I should put on the turn signal or when I should put on the flashes. Now, if they, if they really care about me, guess what they should be telling me? Ronnie, put on your seatbelt. They should say, put on your seatbelt. They should say, oh, Ronnie, did you get enough rest? Because you know why you, on these long journeys, you're going to need some rest. Or they can say, you know what, Ronnie, look, come on, stop by. Let me give you something so I can help you fill up your tank. Meaning a little good encouragement. It don't, or a nice dinner or, 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 or just a beautiful card or something that helps to fuel, you, fuel me in a direction where while I'm driving in life, I'm driving in a direction where I understand where I'm going and I understand my purpose and I'm not letting anybody distract me from what I'm trying to do. Many of us in relationships got to think about that. Many of us got to understand in order for us to reach our goals, you can't let everybody else drive your vehicle. They're not going to worry about the, the tires. They're not going to worry about if the lights or your high beams are working. They're not going to check all those things. What I'm telling you is you got to be very, very focused on you. Your mental status, what is causing you, what is your triggers, what are the things that's causing uh, disruption in your life? Who are the people that's doing that? I remember a good, I want to say a good friend of mine, he told me one time, he said, Rodney, in order for you to move forward, you got to get rid of some baggage. He said, you got to let some baggage go. Some of the baggage you ain't going to want to let go because it's a part of who you are. I know what he meant. That's some of the people in your life. Some people in your, in, in, that you grew up with or you, you're this in your family. Some of those people, you're going to have to let them go. I want you to think about that. Everyone who's going to, to listen to this message today. Um, I, I, I didn't have a guest today. I really didn't want a guest. I, I wanted to just come in and, and just try to uh, 
just just say some positive things that was going to encourage you to take control of your vehicle. Take control of your vehicle so that you will be doing what you have to do to move forth and be positive. I'm not going to tell you everything that I'm doing because right now, really, I can say this. My one, my number one thing right now is I'm, uh, I'm leaning on God. That's what I'm doing first. And I'm loving myself. That's it. And I'm going to continue to pray and ask God to give me the wisdom and, and the strength to go forth so that I will be able to succeed. Because I love helping people. I love being a blessing to people. I also, let, let me come back down for a minute, guys. I should have just, I jumped right in because it, this has been on my mind all day. But um, I, I want to take the time out to congratulate some people um, who um, had some, some very good things to happen in their lives. And it's based on them driving their vehicles. I wanted to say congratulations to uh, uh, my niece, Rika Barton, uh, a week or so ago. I think it was on the 13th. Um, she received um, her doctors and um, she's a professor now. Um, she, she, my, my, my niece, um, one of the things, that, I, when I think about her, I think about what she did. I'm going to give you a prime example of a person driving their vehicle, right? My niece, she, she packed up and moved to California. And she had her mind set on her journey. And during the process of everything that happened, I mean, she had some real serious things that happened in her life that, that, that put, a, put the brakes on. That I know it took the gas out of her, out of her vehicle. I know that uh, a couple of times when she was trying to go straight, the turn signal was on to go right or left in life. But what she did, and I say this by the proof that's in the pudding, that she refueled, she got back on track on, track on her journey, and, and she received her doctors. And I am so proud of her. And I want to say just God bless her. Um, uh, it, it, it's a, uh, actually, I just also realized that one of my other cousins, she also, uh, graduated. I don't know, um, what title did she get? She just got a degree or something. Um, this is another one of my cousins in my family. Um, so kudos to, um, uh, uh, my cousin, um, uh, um, man, you know, this is funny when your mind be going to... <laughs> I'm, 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 their name's gonna come to me, but, um, also I want to say, uh, 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 congratulations to Dr. Tina Moore Carroll and, uh, Angela Conti, Dr. Angela Conti. Um, they also received their doctors over the, uh, weekend as well. I had the opportunity to watch the ceremony. I was so proud of them. Uh, much respect and love to Minister Conti, he also, I think all three of them also received the uh, the uh, Lifetime Achievement Award uh, signed by the President of the United States as well. Um, I, I just was so proud watching them. And you know what that, that, that told me? Before I even got the topic today, but after I thought about it, even today, they was driving their vehicles. And they was in control of where they was going and they were fueling their vehicles with the right things. And, and I just want to say congratulations to them as well. So that, I mean, kudos to them, you know. Um, the, the other individual whom I, I got to give some kudos to, we was talking about, now, now don't think I'm getting off track because I want you to see how all this ties in. Mental, the, we're in mental awareness um, a month and mental awareness is something we got to pay attention to throughout the whole year. You got to pay attention throughout your whole life with it. Understanding your mental awareness and the things that you're dealing with mentally will dictate where you're going and how you're going to deal with it. And, and it's going to be, you're going to see the outcome of a lot of things. I use the car vehicle situation because it's your body, it's your mind, it's your life, you're driving. 
and 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 you can you can you can know if you want to go down the alley, if you want to go the highway, if you want to go down that little rocky road, or you're gonna go down a new street that just got the new um, yellow lines on them and the white lines on them. You are gonna pick the track the, the the path where you want to go. Mental awareness gonna play a factor. Your your mental awareness is gonna be a real real factor on how you are gonna come out. Many of these people who have accomplished different things, when you talk to some of them, you'll find out that they done had some troubles in the process of getting where they're going. But what they did is they took the time to analyze where they are, how they're getting there, the people that's around them, that's affecting them, and what they need to do to move forward. Some people say, Rodney, why do you do this? You know what, what happens when I get on... Uh, people to people and talk about things that I think is going to empower other people. I be getting fueled up. I started to get fueled up. Uh, about a week or so ago, I walked in here and I was done. I was done. I was done because I was looking at everything that was going on around me. And the, and the mental aspect of it was something that I wasn't paying attention to. And And so... I'm no different. And you know what was really powerful for me was this. Just doing conversation with some other people. See, we got a lot of people afraid to talk about it. They're afraid to admit that they have anxiety attacks or they 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 that's why they smoke nine cigarettes in in an hour. Or go home and sneak and get a drink. Or why they doing drugs. Why they messing around on their mates. Why they why they lying to their, their children. Why they disrespecting their parents. Why are they disrespecting their loved ones? Why are they doing all A lot of us are not paying attention to the mental level in which we have to deal with and, and moving forth in our life and where we are. Now, I know I, I, I was just, you know, a little all over the place, but y'all stay with me. Stay with me. It's Mental Awareness Month, and, and the topic today is who's driving your, your vehicle in your mind and in your life. Who's, who's, who's driving your vehicle? Think about it. One of the things that I wanted to, I definitely wanted to really, uh, uh, was Tamika. Tamia? Tamia. Was it Tamia? Yeah, it was. My cousin. Right? Yeah, Tamia. Uh, she graduated. Thank you, Lady Z. And, and, and their mom is uh, Tamika and Nesto, um, their daughter, um, she, she just, she just uh, uh, got a degree. I, I'm not quite sure, but I'm just proud of her. <laughs> she's driving that vehicle. She's driving it and she's focusing. She ain't looking in the rear view mirror. She ain't letting people turn it to the right, to the left. Many of these, these names that I called out, that's what they're doing. A University of Maryland graduate, okay. Man, I just much love and respect. You know, one of the things that I've I realized, even with everything that I'm dealing with, and I keep going back to me because I I I, I, I here I got understanding who is really driving your life vehicle. Is it you or those uh uh who don't want to see you succeed? Let me, let me tell you how people work. Some people will see you doing something that makes you happy and they will disrupt it on purpose knowing that it's going to take you off track of where you're going. Some people will not support you knowing that you're trying to do good and they won't give you the kudos to say job well done. Some people will blame you for all their downfalls. I grew up in a household where my father was a very, very abusive man. I am not him. The vehicle that he drove, I did not get in that vehicle. My father was a, a drinker. I am not. The vehicle that he drove, he used to drive drunk. And I'm, when I say that, work with me now. When I say he used to drive it drunk, I ain't meaning that he was like on the road. He was driving it drunk in the bedroom, down in the kitchen, sometime in the basement, sometimes in, in the front yard. 
what I'm trying to tell you, and, and, and this is what, work with me, mental awareness. So as I start to evaluate my father, I realized that my father had some mental challenges, mental problems, just in life itself. A lot of us got to be conscious of what's going on around us and be conscious of what we're doing. If we're going to succeed in life, I don't care what it is, your business, your relationship, I don't care what it is. Become aware of your mental status and who's driving your life vehicle. We got people that want to drive your vehicle that haven't drove as far as you driven, if you follow me. Kids want to tell their parents how to do stuff that they ain't did half of what they done. How can you be 20 years younger than me and tell me how to survive the way I survive? You can give me some advice, but if you ain't did what I done, you ain't in no position to really tell me. Not until you did it and you are successful at it. If you're in the process of trying to do it, you still can't tell me. And think about, sometimes people got to think about this. I'm going to go back to the vehicle. I love this vehicle thing, right? I love this. I want you to work with me on this. Can you think about back in the 40s and 50s? You think that the roads that you drive on was smooth as they are today? They were rocky roads. They dirt roads. It, some of them wasn't no highways. So individuals who had to drive then in life, moving through life, dealing with depression, dealing with uh, anxiety attacks and all of these things that mess with you mentally was totally different from what we're dealing with today. We got the smooth roads. We got highways. We got, we got subways. We, we, we have all kind of different type of vehicles to get around in 2022. In 1960, when I was born, and I remember going when I, in 1967, 68, I don't remember seeing no real fancy uh, uh, cars that could do 160 miles an hour in 30 seconds. I don't remember seeing nothing like that. Not in, if it was on TV, it was on cartoons. For everybody just joining in, my name is Rodney Grimes. This is People to People. I, I, I'm coming to you because today I, I, I just, I prayed. I, I've been, I'm in prayer real heavy today. And I was saying, Father God, what should I do? Should I do? And, 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 this, and what he was telling me, he said, Rodney, get control of your vehicle. Get control of your vehicle. And, and it's going to be people that's going to be riding the same direction you're going, and they'll see. Don't worry about what kind of car they have. Don't worry about if they're driving a truck, motorcycle, or even flying in an airplane. He said, but get in your vehicle and concentrate on what you need to do to move forth and to concentrate on everything around you. Stop letting people tell you to turn to the left when you know you want to go straight. Don't let them tell you to go to the right. And you know you're supposed to go left. And focus on what's going on ahead of you. And stay out that rear view mirror. The rear view mirror is only to glance in every now and again. Most of the things that you see in the rear view mirror, you already passed. So you ain't even really got... I'm telling Rodney that more so than anything. But somebody else out there probably need to hear this. Look at, don't look in the rear view mirror too many times. Because what's back there is back there. What you pay attention to is what's in front of you. I made a commitment yesterday. I told God, I'm going to lean on him so hard. I'm going to come to him and I'm going, I'm going to just put myself in a position that every time that I'm in question of anything, I'm going to God first. Now, I'm not telling you to believe in the God I believe in. You know, I believe there's only one God. So if you believe that he's a truck driver, hey, go ahead. You do what you do. But I, I, me, I believe, I believe in the Holy Spirit. And I'm leaning on it. 
Because I want to drive my vehicle. And I want God to have my, my, help me with my focus. And I love helping people. See, so while I'm driving, all the little blessings that I get, I'm going to be putting and dropping some out the window as I go by. I, would, I, 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 I told the young lady in here I wanted her to pay attention to what I was talking about today. This, this is for young people. And anybody um, that's younger than me, I want you to think about, are you driving your own vehicle? Drive your own vehicle and concentrate on driving it and understand um, what causes you to lose focus, what causes you to have troubles, what causes you to get a flat tire. Sometimes, you know, things happen and they could be prevented. If you get your car serviced, nine out of ten, it ain't you, it's gonna hold up. They always say if you change the oil in your car, it'll stay with you forever. But it ain't just the oil that got to be changed. Sometimes you got to change the tires. You got to put a new light bulb in. This is the same thing you do in your life. Sometimes you got to get rid of the old tires because they're no good for you. That's some of the people that you deal with. Sometimes it's the... The, 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 the car itself. Sometimes you just got to get rid of that car and get a new one so that you can drive comfortable, get some air conditioning in it. Don't, and don't, don't tell me I don't know about that because at one time we were driving, we ain't had no air conditioning. It was a hot summer. We drove in the, 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 the car so long without uh, air conditioning. When we got the new car and, and had the air conditioning, I was scared to cut it on. My wife looked over to me. She said, Rodney, you can cut the air conditioner. And I was like, huh? I, I, I forgot. That's life. So for everybody just tuning in, please, what I want you to do is just to think about who's driving your vehicle. Think about the things that's going on with you. And, and some, I want to ask you about this. How do you deal with the lowest times in your life when things are really, really bad? What do you do? We, we, this last couple of years, man, has been rough. Some people have seen some very, very low times. How do you deal with them? So what I do is I look in the mirror and I ask Rodney that. How are you going to deal with this, Rodney? Well, I made that commitment yesterday. I said, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lean on you. And I'm not going to worry about nobody else trying to make me feel less than what I am. I say, from now on, I am going to love me. I'm going to accept me for who I am. I'm going to drive my own vehicle. I'm a good person driving a good, good, I got a nice car. Right? I got me a nice car. Now, I'm not talking about a physical. I'm talking about a nice frame of mind. That's what I'm driving right now. My thoughts, my desires, my goals, they are beautiful. And I'm not letting nobody else take that from me. That's why I said to all those individuals who graduated and doing these things and changing their life, I love the vehicles that you're driving. I love where you're going. I also heard another lady say this over the over, uh, yesterday on the television. She's a pastor. She says, don't forget while you're moving around through life, don't forget to be a giver. Don't always be a taker. Don't forget to save a little something for yourself. Take care of your responsibilities and give a little bit to somebody else. While you're traveling, remember to do that. So that means sometimes you just need to give somebody a hug. Sometimes you need to get a hug. And sometimes you just save a hug. We are in a time right now that is imperative that we pay attention to the mental awareness of people around us. And things are going on. People are killing people for no reason. Getting on subway, shooting up people for what? Somebody been driving their vehicle, they shouldn't have been driving it. 
then drove them to a situation where they had a cliff and they said, the hell with it, I'm going to go ahead and drive off of it. So they end up doing something stupid by killing some people who had nothing to do with it. Y'all follow me today. Work with me. I want you to think about this. I want you to think about where you are with your choices. How are you going to respond with your choices that you make? I, something else was brought to my attention. It was some changes done in my life. I, 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 I got to kind of talk in riddles because some people that watch the program, I don't want them getting any feelings. But some changes in, in my personal life is, is, is happening, right? And, and when I say this, so some more responsibility is getting put on me. So while I was laying in the bed, I started thinking about it and I said, man, now they get ready to get me doing this and doing that and doing this. And, and God sent the message. He said, from, I heard through somebody else while I was driving my vehicle, I heard another person in their vehicle say, you know what? Sometimes when, when, when changes come, just adapt to them. Understand that change is going to come. And, and what you're going to do is prepare yourself to be able to navigate with the changes. That's almost like when you're driving and all of a sudden you go into a place you've never been before. Now you got your map and the map says you go 395 to 95 to 86. I just threw some numbers out there, right? But when you get to 86, 86 is not what you thought it was. It's like going through the mountains. And what happened when you're going around them curves and you don't see no rail over there? You get nervous. And things change. That's part of what happened in people's lives. We got people that are getting on the road that had rocky roads all their life and all of a sudden now the road to become smooth. And half of them don't even know what to do. They get scared. But what you have to do is you have to take your time. Go back, evaluate your situation. Understand your plan. Understand your direction. Make the right choices. Make sure you get those people out of your vehicle that's causing havoc in your, in your, on your journey. Put them out. You get to a stoplight, open up the door, tell them, get out. And sometimes you see somebody hitchhiking, don't be afraid to pick them up if you know that you that's the right thing to do. Your heart will tell you. Sometimes you pick up a hitchhiker. That might be the person that just got the right thing to say for you. Now, understand when I said that, I don't want you going around picking up people just on the corner and stuff like that. I'm talking about, you know, when you think about it, I want you to understand I'm talking about just in general with how you're moving around in life, okay? I hope y'all are with me today. I hope that y'all are with me today. And I want to say thank you to all the supporters of People to People. I thank you so much for all the ones who's been driving and riding on this journey with me. The ones that have been helping me fuel my tank. The ones that have been being a blessing to me. Giving me the good knowledge. You know, um, last week uh, I realized something. I, 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 um, somebody was the key in my vehicle. <laughs> so we had to hotwire it. Because the person that was my key wasn't with me. So I had to hotwire the, the, the journey, if you follow me. And, 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 and my road was so rocky that all the time that I was going, I wasn't even paying attention. I wasn't paying attention that I was still in, in control of the vehicle itself. Even though I had to hot wire, I had to hot wire it to go forward and to move forward, it still we accomplished the mission. You know how? We, 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 what we did, we, first of all, we started to look at the journey. We started to become aware of our choices. We started to make some decisions. Think about that in your life. Who's driving your vehicle? The topic of the day is who's driving your vehicle in your mind and in your life. 
Who's driving your vehicle? That's so important. Something also, this is for all the young people. All the young people, I want you to think about something. Every individual between the age 13 to 18, half the time you're going to think you know what you're doing, but you don't. You need to take the time to listen. You got something for me, Lady Z? Fasting says, pick up positive people. I love that. <laughs> you pick up positive people. And that's what that's what that's where I'm going with the young people right now. Pay attention to your journeys. Start to understand where you're going. Because sometimes on your journey you get confused because you think you know everything. Between 13 and 18. Now, follow me with this. We in this vehicle and we trying. And they starting what they on. They on a scooter at, at, at 13 to 18. They ain't in the big car yet. But when you get to 18, say 18 to 29. You know what I always told individuals? If you can still say 20, you still a child. To me, you still a child. If you still can say, oh, I'm 29 in six weeks, you still a child to me. When you say 30, you're an adult. Because at that time, you should know what direction you're going. See, we got to get back on the, on, on the right track and know what type of fuel to put in our vehicles. That's your mental. Know what type, what type of things you need to keep you going. That's your mental. You got you got to know the people to be around that's gonna help you mentally. All of these things between eighteen and twenty nine, I'm trying to tell you, you should be focusing on. Don't be fo focusing on running the street, getting high, trying to see how many babies you can make and how many babies you can have. Because I'm gonna tell you something: when you hit thirty, going into forty, all of it's gonna get you. Cause guess what? Between thirty and forty, it's gonna be hard to move in somebody's house. Who's already struggling. I'm telling you that right now. Between 30 and 40. you People, people are trying to. They should be establishing themselves. Because when you get 50. Between 40 and 50. Believe me. If you ain't got it going on. You in trouble. Spiritually. Mentally and physically. And this applies to all of us. Understand where you are. And you got to you got to you got to find your spiritual ground. You got to find your spiritual ground so that you know how to hold on and move forward. Because it's not really just about you. On the highway when you travel, you're not the only one on the highway. Even when you go to back roads, somebody else is trying to go there too. Work with me. Follow me with this. Who's driving your vehicle? Again, <coughs> excuse me. I got that message when I was having Bible study. And it was, it was a powerful message and it stuck with me. And I told my wife, I said, I got to use it. And it, it made me realize what I need to do. I need to stop letting people turn my, my turn signals for me. <laughs> Leave my turn signals alone. I, I, got, I don't let them tell me what kind of gas to put in my vehicle. I know what kind of gas I need in it. I need that God. I, 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 I want that Holy Spirit gas. I want that gas that's pure. That's going to be where I'm not going to disrupt other people's lives and run over nobody by accident. Because I'm going to be focused. I'm going to be focused on my journey. I'm going to stop looking in the rearview mirror and paying attention to everything that's going on in the back. And focus on what's going on in front of me. This morning my wife got up and she said, Ronnie, it's a beautiful day. 
Guess what she was looking? She was looking forward in the windshield in front of us. I, I had a rough weekend. I had a, some issues. She did not look in the rearview mirror of the weekend. She looked in the journey where we was going forward. And I took that to work with me. And I was thinking about it while I was praying and reading some scriptures and things. And I was like, you know what? I, you know what? Hey, I, all, all, them, all them negative things that was making my turn signal go to the left, going to the left. I said, why am I the turn signal going to the left when I'm going straight? Why is the turn signal on? I'm thinking about all this garbage. I'm telling you. So let me get back to the numbers. You got something for me? Yes. Go ahead. Um, Fort Sting says, you can't allow anyone to drive your vehicle of life, whether it's family, friends, or foe. Don't allow others to total your vehicle of life. Wow. Oh, I love it. Wow. So, so wow. I, I, I'm, I, I, I want you to know that that's so powerful. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Faustine. Thank you. You cannot let somebody else destroy your journey. Don't let them get... You know, one of the things that I realized when I was coming up, I remember my mother when I got my brand new bicycle. She said, don't let nobody tear it up. And then I realized one time, guess what? I let somebody ride my bicycle and they was trying to do a trick. And what they did, they was riding on the side. They took and got, you know how you can just lean on one pedal and stand on it and ride and kind of glide? And guess what? They jumped off and let it go and the bike went into the fence. Scratched my bike up a little bit. You know why they did that? They, they wasn't concerned about my bike. They wasn't concerned about the process of me riding it. And it being nice and in good shape and beautiful. That's what happens when people in your life. Husbands, wives, sisters, brothers, nieces, nephews, children. They want to tell you, you've been driving for 10 years and they ain't even got their learning permit yet. And they can tell you that you ain't driving right. <laughs> Come on now. Thank you for adding value to the conversation. That's what it's all about. We have to we have to get to a point where we understand where we are and what stage in life we are. Don't wait till you on your dying bed to start calling on God. Oh, please don't do that. Don't wait till you, everything start falling apart in your life and start calling on God. Drive in the right direction now. Go to the driving school of life and learn what is right. Learn how to park your car. Learn how to follow the rules and regulations. How many people know who has the right of way when you get to a four-way stop sign? How many people really know? A lot of people couldn't even tell you. And they're supposed to be drivers. That's some of the situation in your life. Who have the right of way when it comes to you at a, 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 a certain stop, a, a pit stop in your life? Who have the right to dictate to you and tell you whether you're right or wrong? When you know what your intentions are. Get control of your vehicle. Make the right choices. Understand, and children... Young people, young adults, understand where you are. I'm going to talk like this. I'm going to keep it real. When I was young, between 18 and 20, no, no, 18 and, 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 and 29, all I was thinking about was out there seeing how many females I could be with. I thought that was something was put in my head. I thought that that was the way to be going. I wish somebody had to put it in my head to say, Rodney, Concentrate on saving money, having some stability, put yourself in a position where you can buy a house by the time you're 30, 35, get settled on a job doing something that you love to do so that you can enjoy your life when you get up in your, in your 40s and 50s. A lot of us are not aware of that. We got some young people right now, 
35 years old and they changing jobs like they changing tennis shoes. We got some people that's running all over the place, um, living in conditions where they're not even thinking about what they're going to be doing when they turn 50. Because they running around getting high and, 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 and trying to look pretty. Dealing with all the people who really don't care where you are when you're 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. A lot of those people are not going to be nowhere around. You better watch who you got in your driver's seat, in the passenger seat in your vehicle, in life. You got to watch who's telling you which way to go. Mental awareness. It's Mental Awareness Month. I, 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 I just want to give a, a special thanks to my, 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 uh, my Bible study partners. Um, I didn't say their name. And, and because sometimes people want things to be private, but I just, I, I'm, I'm so blessed with them and, um, and, and, and I'm just thankful for the message. I got that message from my Bible study. Who's driving the vehicle? You know what I decided yesterday? Yesterday I, I had a long talk. Well, sorry that I had a long talk with God, but after I had my Bible study, I decided, I said, you know what, Father God? I'm getting back in control of my vehicle, and I'm going to drive it just the way that I know that you want me to do it. And I'm not going to be trying to make no pit stops, no extra places. Right now, I got to focus on my journey. And I'm going to do that. And I love you. I love all of you. I love everybody out there. And I know I can't save you if I can't save myself. So what I'm focusing on right now is my vehicle. I'm focusing on my health, my mental status, how I'm loving myself, how I'm loving other people, how I'm loving my friends and my family and, and all those. And guess what I realized? The ones who don't want the love, I ain't mad at you because guess what? You ain't got to take it. See, that love that I want to give, if you don't want to take it, it's okay. Because somebody else will. And if they don't want it, guess what? It's okay. Because there's enough love for me to enjoy myself. And it's not being selfish. It's taking control of your vehicle of life. Understanding your journey. Going in the right direction. I'm, I'll be 62 years old in a few more weeks, and uh, I'm, I'm learning a lot, even in this at this time. And I just thank God, and I give him, I just give him praise for what what he's doing for me. And so, with that said, you know, I wanted to get on here today, and I wanted to talk about this, uh, hoping that I was going to be able to 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 open up somebody's mind or or talk about it. Something that was going to be a blessing to you. Get control of your vehicle. What, look at what type of gas you're putting in it. Look at what type of gas you're putting in your vehicle. That's you. What kind of fuel are you putting in it? Look at the people who are taking you to the gas station. Some people like to go to Exxon. Some people like to go to Mobile. Some like to go to Shell. Guess what? Sometimes the gas at certain gas stations don't work good in certain people cars. So sometimes you got to watch what type of gas you're putting in it if you get if you understand what I mean. I want to tell people, you know, that uh uh people to people, we are still moving forward. I am excited. I I I now I'm in I'm in a whole different frame of mind. And uh a shout out to uh Pinky Slate man, me and him, we had man, I I man, I love you my brother for the positive uh, enforcement, reinforcement you gave me, um, the conversation, man, when I called you, I was in a panic, um, uh, shout out to my, my dear friends, uh, the Kings, um, I, I love y'all so much, um, for, for what y'all have done and how y'all been a blessing in my life, um, I thank you, I thank you, I want to say thank you to my wife, I want to say thank you to my wife, man, I want to say thank you to her because, boy, she's loving me unconditionally even when I have a flat tire. 
the tires on the car ain't rolling right, she ain't jumped out yet. She been right there. 100. And I've had some people jump out of the car that I was driving, and, and, and I was looking for them to, ride, to, to take a journey with me, and they, they jumped out. And I ain't mad. Because sometimes you got to get rid of some old tires and get some, rid of some bad luggage. But I just want I, I just want to I just want you to know that it's up to you to make the difference in your life. You got to understand what you should be doing in your in your years to come. You got to understand what you're going to be doing in the years to come. Young and old. Just because you're 60, it ain't over. So you got to understand that it's important for you to do what you have to do. It's important for you to become aware. I'm going to read something before I, for, before I close out. Um, this is a good book. It's called Jesus Calling. And um, my mom was reading this, and I told somebody about this book uh, last week. And, and it has uh, a message for you every day to read. And so this was my message today. Approach each new day with, the, with desires to find me. Before you get out of bed, I have already been working to prepare the path that will get you through this day. There are hidden treasures strategizingly places along the way. Some of the treasures are trials designed to shake you free from earth shackles. Others are blessings that reveal my presence. Sunshine, flowers, birds, friendship, and answered prayers. I have not abandoned you. This sin wrecked, it, it, it wrecked the world. I am still richly present in it. Search for deep treasures as you go through this day. You will find me all along the way. Man, God is amazing. I give him nothing but glory and praise. For everybody that tuned in, I send peace and blessings to you. This is People to People with Rodney Grimes. Today's topic was, who's driving your vehicle? Who's driving your vehicle in your mind and in your life? I pray to God that you be blessed, and I hope that you will find the right fuel to put in your vehicle, inside of your heart, your mind, and your spirit. God bless. Y'all have a blessed day. Thank you.